Hey guys, this is Raze, and um, I'm here to bring you the first of hopefully many HUD-based Team Fortress 2 tutorial videos. Now, um, the first tutorial I'm going to be doing today is one that a lot of people um, often ask about, and I figured it would be important to do this one first. It is the transfer of one crosshair into another. So, first off, we're going to launch Team Fortress 2, and I'm going to show you the crosshair we're going to be working with today for today's tutorial. Um, in case any of you don't know, while the game is loading, I am uh, the creator of Ray's HUD, and um, one of the two HUDs used in this example video, as you can see here, is going to be Ray's HUD, um, the most current version, version 3.4. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the map, and I will show you the crosshair we're going to be working with today. Um, while this is loading, though, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about crosshair transferring. I mean, it's really not too terribly simple once you get down the basics, but um, it is kind of a lengthy process and things are kind of confusing so hopefully this can kind of help clear things up for you guys that are more of a visual type people. Anyways, no, we're loaded into the game. Let's see what crosshair we're working with today. So today we're going to be looking at the Connor Wings crosshair which is one of the most popular ones. Uh, YZ50 and um, Clockwork are uh, two of the most famous people um, that use this crosshair and I know it's really popular these days so I, I figured it'd be a good um, one to work with for this video. Um, so as we can see here, I've got my uh, three basic uh, crosshairs. I just have or er, crosses rather. It's just a part of the in-game HUD. Uh, but there's also those little brackets there. That is the crosshair we're going to be working with. In case you guys are unfamiliar with the uh, Connor Wings or YZ50 crosshair. So, anyways, we've got the crosshair on this HUD, right? But you know, let's say I want to switch over to a HUD like Omp HUD. Well, how are we going to get those wings over there? Uh, well, let's see. So, first things first we need to do is we need to identify where that crosshair itself is installed within your HUD files. Now I'll tell you this is the same on every HUD. Now um, I don't think there's really any other place you can install them, but all custom crosshairs are installed in the uh, HUD layout.res folder. Now if you guys don't know where that is, um, ever since TeamPipe switched over, you're going to go to your uh, root tf directory, you're gonna go to the custom folder, you can go to the name of whatever HUD it is you're using, or you know, for some people it's just called, you know, my stuff, um, but for me it's called race HUD, and then you're gonna go to your scripts folder and your HUD layout.res, right here. So now that that's loaded here, we need to identify what crosshair it is we're looking for. Now luckily since I was the one that made this HUD, uh, I already know, uh, obviously, it's gonna be called Connor Wings, um, so we're gonna search for that. Oh, actually, sorry, no spaces. I'm silly. Uh, so here it is. This is the crosshair we want to transfer over to OMSUD. Now, first thing you need to um, find, and actually the only thing you really need to find uh, on this file, is the font that's involved with that crosshair. Now, as you can see here, it's I have two uh, fonts in the font field, but um, in order to prevent confusion between you guys, I'm going to take this one out because that one's not currently in use. And you'll see that the only font field specifies a font called Connor Wings 24. Well that's all fine and good and all, but I mean what are we going to do with that? Well, all uh, custom font definitions are installed in the client steam.res folder associated with that HUD, and if you guys don't know where that is, that is in the base resource directory folder, it should be here, a folder called client steam.res, every HUD should have it, and you're going to search for that font size. Now if, uh, if you guys don't know what it is, because um, it's going to be different on a per HUD basis, it's going to be that exact name that's in the font field. So for me, it's Connor Wings 24. And I'm lazy and don't want to type, so we're just going to directly copy that and we're going to search for it. Now, the first thing in most instances that should pop up should be a thing similar to this. It should have a name at the top, which should be the name of the font that you saw over in HUDLayout.res, and then a tiny number like this, and then a few more attributes, you know, a name, a tall, which is actually the same thing as the font size, a weight, anti aliasing, outline, you know, it kind of depends, but it should be in this general format. Um, what this is, this is the font definition, which basically is um, a, a font name that your HUD gives the AOK to that says to all the other HUD files, hey, if you guys see this name, make sure to use this specific uh, font or you know this specific font size. And um, it's really important because without this, the crosshair itself wouldn't work. So. Um, once we found this, we need to take a look at the name field. This is the next step, and this will help find you the font that you need to actually transfer over to the new resources uh, folder of your new HUD in order to actually transfer over the crosshair. In this instance, it's named Garmin HUD, or Garmin font rather, so we're going to search for that. Um, and depending on the HUD, there might be a few definitions of it. As you can see, I have a few myself, 
but the one that you should really be interested in should be at the bottom of the file. So we're going to go ahead and just scroll down here and search for Garmin font. And it should be pretty easy to find, and it's right here. Now what this is, this is essentially the base um, installation of the font. This is actually um, the thing that tells you, or tells the HUD rather, what font file to use, as you can see Garmin font.ttf and where it's located, and then it gives it a name. Um, this is pretty much essential to any uh, HUD crosshair transfer because if you obviously don't have the font associated with that HUD crosshair, the HUD crosshair itself isn't going to work. So now that we've found those two things and we found the uh, HUD crosshair in our HUD layout.res, then we are ready to install the new HUD itself and begin the transfer process. So in order to do that, I've prepared uh, OMP HUD to use in this example. So we're going to go ahead and just throw raise HUD to the desktop here. Luckily I've got a copy of it so we can reference the material later if we need to. But we're going to take out OMP HUD. So we'll just copy this, actually cut it rather, and paste it into our custom directory successfully installing it. And we will start up the uh, game here and see if we can find it. Make sure it works 100% and everything. And uh, while this is loading, um, let's see, what can we do here? I want to make sure it installed correctly. Ah, never mind. We're good. As you can see, we've got OMS HUD. Boom. A new HUD. Now, we will load into Badlands and begin the fun part. The actual installation of the crosshair, which can be kind of tedious, and this is where people often run into issues. So uh, if you've gotten this far in the installation process before and kind of... Uh, ran into issues, make sure to pay close attention here. But, uh, as you can see, this is OMP HUD, very nice HUD, and uh, everything's working great, but that crosshair is not there. So, first things first, um, you need to go to the OMP HUD, HUD layout.res. Uh, he actually, um, he actually himself put his HUD crosshairs at the bottom. So, mine are personally at the top, but I mean, it really depends. You can throw them anywhere in the file. But as you can see here, he does not have Connor wings. He has OMP crosshair plus, OMP crosshair plus small, crosshair dot, and crosshair circle. That's it. And those are not what we're looking for. So, we need to get the font definition for Connor Wings. So, let me open up this backup I have of my HUD. You know, it's essentially the same thing as the one I had installed a second ago. So, there shouldn't really be any differences with it. And we're going to find Connor Wings again. So, here is the HUD crosshair. Um, itself. This is the thing that gives you the positioning, the font it needs to use, and all that jazz. So we're going to copy that over and just throw it in at the bottom of omshudlayout.res. Save it. And with a simple HUD reload, um, we can see that... Oh, I forgot to enable it. Silly me. With a simple um, HUD reload scheme upon enabling it, we'll see just a little tiny eye to the left of the crosshair. And um, this is silly. I mean, this isn't what we're looking for, right? We want to get the crosshair. We don't want a freaking eye next to our crosshair. Um, but this is because we've only transferred over the definition itself, and we haven't actually installed the fonts yet. So next thing we need to do is we need to open up the uh, RaceHUD client scheme here, and then the OMP client scheme. Let me do that. And begin the transfer process there. So. Um, Connor Wings, remember you used that size 24 font right there, Connor Wings 24. So we're going to search for Connor Wings 24 in the raise HUD. And there's that font definition we were talking about earlier. We're going to copy it. And we're going to first off search for the econ font section of uh, the client scheme. Now you can put it pretty much anywhere, but econ font is where I've had the most success within the client scheme.res file. So I'd recommend putting it here if possible. Um, and I believe Omp himself did here. Yes, you can see these are the Omp fonts. So we're going to scroll to the bottom of his uh, font definitions. Oh, went a little too far there. And throw it in here. So, ah, but we're done, right? No. See, now we've transferred over the font uh, you know, definition, but we still don't have the font itself. So that's when that third step comes into play. We scroll down to the bottom of the file here, and we can see um, the Connor Wing section. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And um, just like we did a second ago, uh, we're basically just copying and pasting everything in the direct spot that it was in raise HUD, except in OMS HUD. We'll go to the bottom and throw this in here. Now this is an important thing to realize that um, all HUDs use a different number of custom fonts, and so sometimes these numbers up at the top 
might be the same, and that's bad. We don't want to do that because that might be telling uh, the HUD that you want to override Connor Wings and all the Connor Wings uh, crosshair fonts with this blocks one, which is not what we want to do. That just creates conflict. So make sure you update the number at the top here to be the next one um, in transition, obviously. You know, pretty easy, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to save that. Um, now all that's left is we just have to get that pesky Garmin font.ttf and drop it into the Ampa directory, and we should be good to go. So, without further ado, we'll just check that from Ray's HUD. Uh, actually, that was silly of me. I, uh, I accidentally got rid of that. Luckily, I have a uh, backup here. So, here we go. Garmin font.ttf, that's what we're looking for. And um, we'll go back to this. Sorry, I kind of did a funny thing there. And throw it into the Ampud resources dot rest directory. Now you gotta make sure bef um, before uh, you're done with the installation that this file path resources dot garmin font dot ttf um, or slash garmin font dot ttf matches the location of the actual file. Um, for example, I know I think Brozel does this, and a few other HUDs might do this as well. They have a uh, a fonts folder, so we're gonna call this fonts and throw the uh, garmin font dot ttf in there. Um, you need to make sure that if that is the case that you update the file path because if you don't and the file path of the font and then the font's actual location don't match then obviously it's not going to work so um, now that that's done all we really need to do is restart the game now this is kind of important if you're looking at making your own cut or, uh, HUD or you're editing a HUD um, whenever you make an edit to the client scheme.res you have to restart the game it's one of the few files that's like that, but it's essential. So we close the game, we're going to restart it, and hopefully upon restarting the game and loading into a server, we should have the Connor Wings crosshair. And let's see if that is indeed the case. Moment of truth time. My fingers are crossed. And drum roll, please, as we load in here. It looks like everything is good to go, but let's make sure. And boom, there we go. We've got Connor Wings and Ompud. I'm sorry this tutorial is a little bit lengthy. I'm going to try to cut them down in the future. Um, but hopefully it was somewhat informative to you guys who have always wanted to know how to transfer crosshairs between HUDs. Uh, if you guys have any ideas and other um, types of tutorials or things I could do on my channel, just go ahead and... Uh, Drop me a message in the comments or anything like that, and I'd be really appreciative of it. But for the meantime, um, you guys have a good day, and thank you for watching.